Hello everyone! Welcome to our home economics online class. So, we are now in module 5, quarter 1, week 5 of dressmaking 8. I am Miss Mary and Fonte. Okay, so our lesson 1 is all about occupational safety and health. But before we start, or before we proceed to our new lesson this morning, let's have a pretest first. So, direction, choose the best answer from the choices below. Number one, the chance or probability that a person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect if exposed to a hazard is A. Psychological B. Risk C. Ergonomics D. None of the above The correct answer is letter B. Okay, very good. Risk Number 2. Any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain conditions at work A. Hazard B. Psychological C. Risk D. Chemical the correct answer is letter A, hazard. Next, number three. Which of the following is an example of a hazard? A, wet floor. B, flower. C, baby. D, cake. The answer is letter A, wet floor. Next, number four. Any substance that can cause harm primarily to people. A. Substance B. Hazard C. Chemical D. Psychological The correct answer is letter C. Next, number 5. It has recently been acknowledged in legislation as a workplace hazard. A. Risk B. Ergonomics C. Psychological D. Chemical so, the correct answer is letter C, psychological hazard. Okay, next, direction, identify if it is a hazard or risk. Identify if it is a hazard or risk. Okay, number one is electrical. Electrical is a hazard or risk. Let's see. If electrical is okay, the correct answer is hazard. Number two is spillage of wet substance. So, hazard or risk. So, the correct answer is hazard. Next, number three, pricks. So, pricks is an example of hazard or risk. Okay, the correct answer is let risk. Next, number four, trips. So, trips is an example of, okay, so trip, trips is also a risk. Next, number five, knife. Knife is, yes, hazard. Next, cutting cloth. Cutting cloth is risk. Seven, false, is risk. Next, number eight, scissors. Scissors is an example of a hazard. The number nine, fire. Fire is risk. Then the last one, cloth, dust. So cloth, dust is risk also. Okay, occupational health and safety. So ano nga ba itong occupational health and safety? What is it all about? When we say occupational health and safety, occupational health and safety is the campaign and maintenance of the well-being of worker in every occupation. It also talks about providing a safe working environment to achieve an injury-free workplace and a healthy atmosphere that protects every worker against illness. As an effect, it may also protect co-workers, family, members, clients, and other members of the community who are affected by the workplace environment. 
Okay, let's move on. Hazard and risk. So, what is the difference between hazard and risk? Is there any difference between the two? So, tingnan natin kung ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng hazard and risk. Hazard is any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain conditions at work. Workplace hazards can come from wide range of sources. So remember that hazard is any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse, or adverse health effects. As you can see in this picture, ano-ano kaya yung mga hazard na meron dito sa picture na ito na nakikita nyo? Okay. Tinan or Uh, tinan nyo kung ano yung mga hazard na makikita nyo dyan sa picture na yan. So, sabi kasi dyan, hazard is any source. Siya yung mga dahilan kung bakit tayo naa-aksidente, nagkakaroon ng panganib sa buhay natin. So, ano-ano kaya? So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong scissor. So, scissor is an example of hazard. So, tinan nyo, ang pag-abot ng uh, gunting na yan, So, ano kaya yung mangyayari kung gano'n ang style natin ng pag-abot ng scissor? So, ba diba? Pwede po tayo dyang matusok or mahiwa yung ating mga kamay, masugatan tayo. So, that is an example or hazard na meron dyan sa picture na yan. So, another one is yung mga pins na nakakalat. So, ba diba? Isa rin yan sa mga dahilan kung bakit tayo naaksidente. Another one is yung mga wires na mga nakakalat. And then, another one yung iron. So, kung mapapansin yun, parang nakasaksak pa rin po siya. And then, yung sewing machine is also an example of a hazard. Then, yung mga table na yan. And then, yung mga naka... Uh, kung makapapansin yun, apakan niya pa yung uh, threadle na yan. So, kung hindi niya napansin, so pwedeng magkaroon na matahi ang ating mga kamay or kung ano-ano pa yung mga nandyan sa mesa natin, ba? Diba? So, yun yung hazard, any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse health effect on something. Okay, next is the risk. So, when we say risk, it is the chance or probability that a person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect if exposed to a hazard. So, that is a risk. So, risk kung ano, kung ano yung posibleng mangyari sa atin once na tayo po ay na-expose doon sa isang hazard. So, yung hazard na yun, yung cause kung bakit tayo nasugatan. Or like, for example, itong pins. Nasugata, nasugatan tayo dahil sa pins. So, pins, yun yung hazard. So, once na tayo, hindi natin naingatan ng uh, paggamit o paghawak yung pins, so, nasugatan tayo. So, yun yung risk. Yun yung naging effect. Once na tayo po ay na-expose doon sa isang uh, hazard na yun. So, there are factors that influence the degree of risk. So, there So, the first one is how much a person is exposed to a hazardous thing or condition. Next, how the person is exposed, breathing in vapor or skin contact. And then, how severe are the effects under the conditions of exposure? Workplace hazard, like for example, thing. Example of hazard is scissor, the cause, cut, condition, wet floor, cause, slips, and full. Source of energy, electricity, so the cause is, is shock, electrical shock. An object that could fall from the height, potential or gravitational. A runaway chemical reaction, chemical energy. The release of compressed gas or steam, pressure, high temperature, entanglement of hair or clothing in rotating equipment, kinetic energy, contact with electrodes of a battery or capacitor, electrical energy. 
Okay, there are seven types of a hazard. So the first one is the chemical. Chemical hazard, it is any substance that can harm primarily to people. They have different kinds that could result to a serious injury if not properly handled. Some examples of these chemical chemicals are like for example liquids such as cleansers, acids and paints, um, beef, porous and fumes such as welding fumes, and then gases such as carbon monoxide and other uh, chemical products. So, is yung una na types of hazard chemical na once na hindi ta once na tayo po ay na exposed yan sa hazard ano kaya yung magiging risk if we uh, tayo po ay um ano tawag dyan? na exposed sa chemical hazard na yan what will be the effect or the risk so yun yung maging lung diseases or minsan pag nalaghap natin yung mga chemicals tayo po ay nahihirapan huminga so, that is uh, difficulty in breathing. So, another one is yung allergy. So, that is the first types of a hazard. Next is the electrical hazard. Electrical hazard, it was a dangerous condition where a worker could make electrical contact with energized equipment or a conductor that may result to shock, thermal burn, or blast injury. So, kaya tayo po, tayo po ay nagsasaksak ng ating sewing machine, panatilingin po natin na uh, maayos yung pagsaksak natin. Or, uh, okay yung ating kamay, hindi basa, na once po yan ay basa, uh, may posibilidad po na tayo po ay uh, mag-ground or makuryente po tayo. So, yun. The second type of hazard is electrical hazard. Next is the ergonomic hazard. Ergonomic hazard, it was the poor workplace design, awkward body mechanics, or postures, repetitive movements, and other ergonomic hazard. As you can see uh, on the picture, the boy who is sitting on the uh, sewing machine, so ang kanya pong position ay mali po, mali po, di ba? Hindi po maayos yung kanyang pag-upo. Naka? Uh, poor, posture, poor posture po yung kanyang ginagawa. So, hindi po natin mamalayan pag lagi po yung kanyang ginagawa na ganyan, ay may posibilidad po na ito po ay uh, sumakit yung ating likod, sumakit po ang ating mga katawan. Kaya, ugaliin natin na tayo po ay nakaayos ng position habang tayo po ay nagtatahit. Another example of this uh, ergonomic hazard is yung uh, lifting heavy object. Yung pagbubuhat ng mga mabibigat na mga bagay. ba? So, once na tayo ay lagi nagbubuhat, may posibilidad po na sumakit ang ating mga uh, kamay, shoulder, or other parts of our body. Another one is yung uh, repeated movements. So, yun nga, yung lagi natin ginagawa na uh, ginagawa. Halimbawa, yung pag-abot ng mga bagay, yung mga malataas, tapos mali yung ating position. And then, uh, ergonomic uh, hazard is yung tinatawag din natin na computer screen. Yung lagi po tayo nakatutok sa ating mga cellphone, sa ating pong mga uh, uh, laptops, diba? ba so, kung once na tayo po ay lagi pong nakatutok, may posibilidad po na ano, masira po yung ating uh, mga mata, di ba? Or lumabo yung ating uh, mga mata. So, gusto po ba natin yun na lumabo yung ating mga, kama, mga mata? So, pag lumabo yan, paano na natin mahikita yung ating forever, di ba? Joke lang na lang. Okay, so another one is yung lighting. So, habang tayo po ay nagtatahig, Tapos, yung ating ilaw ay medyo hindi maganda, malabo. So, masisira din po ang ating mga mata. So, those are some example of ergonomic hazard. So, the first one, chemical hazard, electrical hazard, and the third one is the ergonomic hazard.
The next type of hazard is the psychological hazard. So it says here the psychological, it was related to our mental health and behavioral disorder of people. So like for example, so tayo po ay nasa isang garments or nasa isang patahian na po at yung ating supervisor ay talagang uh, meron pinapatapos sa atin na uh, tahiin para sa atin. So 100 pieces. So, syempre, uh, nag-pressure tayo, natapusin yun, or parang um, nahihirapan tayo, may stress doon, kung paano yun tapusin yung 100 pieces, diba? So, that is an example of psychological hazard in dress making or sa patayan. So, sa inyo bilang mga estudyante, so, syempre, uh, dahil sa inyo pong um, overload week na pinapagawa po si inyo na inyong mga teachers. So, napakarami dito subject, di ba? So, 8. Tapos, kung marami pang pinapagawa si inyo yung mga teacher nyo, iba't ibang subject teacher. So, talaga nyo hindi nyo uh, malaman kung ano nga ba yung uunahin nyo, di ba? So, nagkakaroon din po kayo na psychological uh, hazard because this psychological hazard, these are the things that bring you stress. So, works related stress yung another one is yung mga bullying, violence harassment, or common of psychological hazard so ano pong uh, dapat natin gawin syempre hindi po natin uh, isipin yun so relax lang tayo at kagaya sa inyo ng mga estudyante so gawin nyo po sa tamang oras so huwag nyo pong pa at agadin pa naggawin ang inyong mga na atasang mga uh, gawain sa video classroom. Another one is radiation or the red hazard. So radiation hazard it describe the hazards of electromagnetic radiation to fuels, electronic hardware, pertinence, and personnel. Number six is we have the biological hazard or the biohazard. So when we say biological hazard, it comes from living organisms like bacteria, fungi, and viruses that could be a threat to someone's health. So, kagaya nga po ng ating pong nararanasan ngayon, we encounter coronavirus. So that is an example of biological hazard yung COVID-19 na kung saan hindi tayo po sumusunod sa mga protocols ay kagaya ng pagsuot ng face mask, face shield. So talaga po mahahawaan po tayo ng COVID-19. So we should uh, what? We should uh, obey or sumunod tayo sa mga protocols na pinagawa sa atin. And then, another example of this biological hazard is yung unclean sewing room. So, yung hindi malinis kasi yung mga bacteria na yan, andyan talaga po yun, uh, dumadako sa mga matuduming areas. Another one, yung mga mold and fungus, bacteria, insect stings, animal bites, and then yung uh, poorly stored medical waste is an also example of biological hazard. So the effect or the risk of this biological hazard are infections, skin irritations, allergy, and then tuberculosis. Number seven is the physical hazard. So these are the substances that could threaten your physical safety like fire, explosion, and chemical reacti reactivity. So example ng mga uh, physical hazard na ito is yung ating mga scissors na nakakalat lang. Hindi po natin nililinis at yung mga kakagamitan uh, sa ating working place area na hindi na po ginagamit. Kailangan na po natin siyang itabi para maiwasan po natin yung mga physical hazard. Okay, so another example of physical hazard is yung noise. So, yung ingay sa, for example, sa ating uh, patahian, di ba? Pag sunod-sunod o sabay-sabay na magtay kasi yun, ay talagang medyo maingay. Masisira po yung ating, o madadamage yung ating pong ears. So, we need to use yung ginagamit natin na PPA or personal protection, personal protective protection para sa tenga natin. Para may umuwasan natin yung uh, pagkasira sa ating uh, tenga. Another example is of physical hazard is a wet floor. 
So, di ba? Once na tayo po ay na-expose sa wet floor na iyon, ay pwede po tayo madalas. Risk assessment. When we say risk assessment, it is the process where you identify hazard, analyze or evaluate the risk associated with that hazard, and determine appropriate ways to eliminate or control that hazard. The occupational health and safety answers the risk assessment that has detail in how to conduct an assessment and establish priorities. So here are some safety operating procedure in using the sewing machine. First, do not use machine unless you had instruction and training in its safe use and operation. Second, with your permission must be given to operate the sewing machine. And third, read and understood the instruction sheet. Completed the safety test with 100% score and demonstrated competence in safe use. Pre-operational safety. So first, always check that the sewing machine and its cord are in good working order. Second, check all adjustments and settings carefully before commencing any sewing operation. Third, the workplace should be clean and free of equipment, rubbish, and other obstacles. Next, operating safety precautions. So make sure all other students always keep away from the workplace. Next, one person only is to operate a sewing machine at any time. Do not touch a sewing machine while another person is sewing. Next, do not wear lost clothing, especially long sleeves and neck ties. Then, turn the power off when adjusting the sewing machine, such as changing the presser foot and needle. Then, the last one, never raise the machine at the height. Next, take care not to machine over pins. Make sure the take-out lever is in the upper position before pulling out the fabric and cutting threads. And then, it is important to keep the machine as free of length as possible. Do not push or pull the fabric while sewing. Let the machine do the work. Your hand should be guiding the fabric without forcing it. So, don't forget, we have the type. So, the types of hazard are the chemical, electrical, ergonomic, psychological, radiation, biological, and then the physical hazard. So, different factors in risk, how much a person is exposed to a hazardous thing or condition. How the person is exposed, breath and vapor, skin contact, how severe are the effects under the conditions of exposure. Let us proceed to the control hazard and risk, organizational safety, health, and protocol. First one is the hazard and risk in the textile sector. It contains many hazard and risk to workers, ranging from exposure to noise and dangerous substances to manual handling and working with dangerous machinery. Second, exposure to chemical agents. Many different groups of chemical substances are used in the textile sector that includes dye, solvents, pesticides, antimicrobial agents, and so on that could threaten our health. Number three is the exposure to dust and fibers. The exposure of workers to dust from, natural, from materials such as silk, cotton, wool, flax, hemp, and sisal. Division of tasks along gender lines may mean that women are more exposed to the men. Number four, exposure to, bi to biological agents. In some activities, such as carding and bellowing, workers may be exposed to biological agents such as anthrax, clostridium, tetanus, causative agent for tetanus, and coxial bonity, causative agent of Q fever. Exposure to this can result to allergies and respiratory disorders. Number 5. Exposure to physical agents. Workers can be exposed to noise and vibrations such as weaving, spinning, sewing, twisting, and cutting. It can lead to hearing damage. 
Number six is the hazard management. So it is one of the most important duties required by the occupational health and safety law of all workers, including volunteers, is to keep the workplace as safe as possible. How to be safe? So S, stand for spot the hazard. A, assess the hazard. F, fix the hazard. And E, evaluate the result to be safe. So don't forget, control on hazard and risk. Hazard and risk in the textile sector. Exposure to chemical agents. Exposure to dust and fibers. Exposure to biological agents exposure to physical agents, and hazard management. Okay, let's have an activity. So let's see if you really understand our lesson this morning. Okay, so agree, if not, explain. Right agree if the statement conforms with health and safety practices while sewing. If not, give your explanation into spaces provided after each item. Number one. Remove the pins from the fabric as you sew and place them in the pin cushion after using them. Are you agree with, us, with that statement or sentence? Okay, let's see. Okay, agree because the sentence is correct. Next, number two. Make sure that the take-up lever is in the lowermost position before pulling out the fabric in cutting threads. Are you agree? Let's see. Okay, no uppermost position. Next, number three, raise the sewing machine at high speed. So, are you agree with that sentence? Of course, no. Do not raise the sewing machine at high speed. Never, never do that. Number four, turn the power off when adjusting the sewing machine. Turn the power off when adjusting the sewing machine. Are you agree? Okay, agree. Next, number five, do not touch a sewing machine while another person operating it. Do not touch a sewing machine while another person operating it. Okay, of course, agree. Next, direction, identify what type of hazard does the following picture shows. First picture, what do you think? What type of hazard is this? So the answer is, Yes, chemical hazard. Next picture. The stress, shift work, interpersonal relationship, violence at work, drug abuse in the outstation is okay, that is psychological hazard. Next picture, the wrong posture of the man. So that is okay, ergonomic hazard. And then the third picture. So this is an example of biological hazard and then the fifth one the fifth picture is that is physical hazard again what are the types of hazard in a workplace so the types of hazard are first chemical hazard next electrical hazard and then biological hazard we also have the psychological hazard and then the radiation hazard and then we also have the ergonomic hazard and then the last one is the physical hazard okay that's all for today thank you so much and god bless everyone i hope you learned something about module 5 keep safe